Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back into the video day. And today, the Sacramento Kings are re signing their sixth man, Malik Monk, who finished second place in sixth man of the year voting. And this is great for the Kings to get him locked up because Malik Monk was going to have a very, 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 very hot market in free agency. Orlando and other teams were very interested in signing Malik Monk. And I think they would have potentially thrown him more money than he, he got from the Sacramento Kings. Ultimately, he signs a four year, $78 million deal getting $19.5 million a year. I think there are teams in this, in this league with the impact he made, shooting the balls, closing out games, that probably would have been able, and not able, not only able, but willing to give this man probably 20 to $22 million a year. He ends up getting $19.5 million a year from the Sacramento Kings, which I'm not going to say he's, oh, I don't think, I think this, this price is just right. I don't think he's underpaid. I don't think he's overpaid. Because this is not just a sixth man who scores the basketball for the Sacramento Kings team. Uh, he's He also is usually 100, probably about 95% of the time is in the Sacramento Kings closing lineups. Um, but I also want to talk about how interesting this offseason off season has been early on. I mean, uh, Wednesday and Thursday, things that rumors and, and things going on have been hot. I mean, NBA Finals just ended Monday. Boston beat Dallas on Monday. Tuesday, really nothing really captain happened. But Wednesday, things start to get interesting. Starts off, Pascal Siakam resigns, gets the max. Four-year, $180 million is what he gets. That's That starts off this this whole, you know, last couple of days of, of, you know, off-season stuff. Then the next day, or not, sorry, not the next day, literally the, the next hour um, after that Siakam uh, resigning. The Pistons decided to fire Monte Williams, which came out of left field. I mean, deep left field. They, they, that No one saw that coming. I know the Pistons were terrible last year, but Monte Williams is a great head coach who has won multiple head co- or one or two head coach of the year awards, has been to an NBA Finals, and not only that, but had five years left on his contract. No one saw that coming. That was big. And then the final thing that happened was Gary Payton opted into his $9 million player option, which isn't huge, but that was the final thing to happen. Then today, Thursday, things start off with probably the hugest news of the day. It may be debatable. J.J. Redick is hired by the Lakers to become their next head coach. LeBron James and Anthony Davis get their next head coach. And it's J.J. Redick who has a lot of basketball IQ, but no head coaching experience in the college or uh, NBA level. I don't even know of high school level. I don't think he's even coached high school basketball. Uh, but still, his basketball IQ is the reason he has this job with the Lakers. That's the big thing to start off with the whole, you know, with with today, Thursday. Then, even bigger, in my opinion, the Thunder and the Bulls make a trade. Josh Giddy, 21-year-old, who is absolutely played great basketball for such a young guy, averaged 16, 8, and six in his second year in the league then this past season on low minutes per game averaged like 12 six and five um and shot his best from three in his in his in in any season gets traded to chicago for one of the best defensive guards in this league alex caruso who's two-time all defensive nba that was a big trade to start off this offseason first trade that opens up trade season and then here we are now Malik Monk re-signs with the Sacramento Kings. So, so far this offseason, in two days, six things have happened. You've had J.J. Redick has been hired by the Lakers. Monte Williams has been fired by the Pistons. Gary Payton has opted into his player option. Pacers have re-signed Pascal Siakam. The Kings have re-signed Malik Monk. And the Bulls and the Thunder have swapped Alex Caruso and Josh Giddy. And may I remind everybody, it's all this stuff has happened in the last two days. And... It's not even free agency yet. Free agency hasn't opened. The draft is still a week away. And the league, the new league year has not even started yet either. So, um, yeah, it, this, this offseason is already interesting. And, I, and I've, we've heard so many people say that this offseason is going to be one of the best offseasons off seasons in a while. But back to Malik Monk, this is great re-signing. Like I said, he averaged 15.4 points per game this past season. He averaged five assists per game, three rebounds. A shot is best from three in a while, 35%. 
Um, actually, that's not even his bet. Actually, that's his worst in a while. Never mind. Uh, shot 36% from the season before. The season before that with LA. Shot 39%. The season before with um, the Charlotte Hornets shot 40%. So uh, that's 35%. It's not bad at all. I'm not saying it's bad. It's it's actually really good. But the seasons before that, um, it is bad. Um, but at the same time, I want to say, his percentage went down from the last couple of seasons, but his attempts went up 5.9 this season. Seasons before that, 5.2, uh, 5.7, and 5. So his attempts went up um, in the last compared to the last three seasons of basketball. And he played in 7D2 of the 82 games and was in a lot of their closing lineups as well and was huge in crunch time for them. Let me know your thoughts on the... Uh, signing, the re-signing for the Sacramento Kings in the comment section, and peace out.